You are Paul Atreides, Duke Leto Atreides' son. You've come to our people. This behavior honors you, and so you deserve our interest. Atreides. By joining our forces, we'll be able to make those Harkonnen invaders step back. We shall call you Muad'Dib, the name of the mouse shadow on the second moon of Dune. Your water shall mingle with our water. You'd better talk with the Fremen chiefs. So here is this Muad'Dib we've heard about. Uh, yes, Muad'Dib. I want to be part of your followers. May you and Stilgar bring our people the revival we hope for so much. We must rally other Fremen troops if we are to stand some chance of defeating our Harkonnen enemies. We saw you coming from the other siege. If you've managed to convince Stilgar, the proudest man among us, your cause is surely just. We will join you in your fight. We are awaiting your orders. Ah, uh, there's nothing like military training. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Glad to have some Chris knives. My men will appreciate it. Paul, I'm glad to see you're back. Who's this man with you? I know of him, Leto. That's Stilgar, the Fremen leader. Every Fremen thinks of him as a great man. They all respect him. Duke Leto Atreides, the Fremen people would like to assist you in your settlement here. These enemies of yours, the Harkonnens, have always treated the Fremen badly. They despise us. They enslave and kill us. We would like to join you in your battle against them. Stilgar, we are honored by your confidence, and we accept your aid. I'm glad to see that my son is in such good company. Your son is a remarkable man. One of a kind, I'd say. He already knows more than 15 sieges and has met many troop chiefs. We talk a lot about him and his mother. This is the old prophecy. I was very eager to meet you, Jessica Atreides. I can feel strength in you, Stilgar. Paul, I trust Stilgar. You found the right man. I'm sure his presence will give you many new opportunities. This power in you. Could he be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. Keep on going, Paul. All my hopes are set on you. Stilgar certainly is the man we need. Paul, I've studied the weapons here. Interesting, really. I think that now I can train some Fremen in the same way as I taught you before we came here. Seeing these weapons, I feel my eagerness to see the Harkonnens forced off Dune. A little bit cold. I'll stay here if I want to. You don't seem to... Paul, I've studied the weapons here. Okay, Paul, I'm going with you. If you like, I can stay here to train these Fremen in the handling of arms. Good, I'm going to try to teach these Fremen the handling of arms. Something, Something terrible, terrible has happened in the palace. palace. 
Something terrible has happened in the palace. Have you seen the message in the communication room? Devastated a siege to show you what will happen to you. Dune is my planet and I intend to keep it that way. The Baron Harkonnen, a longtime enemy of ours, always capable of the worst atrocities. So this is what we're up against. Something must be done. So you've seen the message. This crime cannot go unpunished. I'm planning a punitive expedition with my personal guard. I'm sure Thufir Hawad will agree with this. I'm still amazed by this change in your eyes, Paul. Duke is losing his temper. It's still too early to attack the Harkonnens from the front. Moreover, wait, a new message has arrived. Searching new messages. Message for Faith of the Harkonnens. These Fremen of yours, they're just a bunch of punks. Did you intend to frighten the great Harkonnens with them? You haven't a chance. You will soon die. This fade Rautha Harkonnen, he is really insane. Watch out, Paul. He may be very dangerous. Soon our Fremen will be formidable warriors. The Harkonnens are very numerous in the area north of the palace, and they're heavily armed. Now, if we have to attack, it would be better in Stilgar's native area, Ergsen. The Harkonnens there are very far from the Arakin palace. The Harkonnen weak spot is there. Go and tell this to the Duke. He may listen to you. Howard is overprudent. I'll never run away from these Harkonnen brutes. It's no use insisting. I have made up my mind. I'm going to leave as soon as my guard is ready. And you, Paul, must stay here and continue what you have begun. You're doing well, and I'm proud of you. However, if I do not return, I hope that you will remember me as a good father as a duke who showed courage in the face of danger. I know you did everything you could to stop him. I'm afraid nothing could be done to prevent his decision. Stop worrying. You must continue on. There are saboteurs here in our seat. There are saboteurs here in our siege. We're repairing. Damn these saboteurs. Please, Moadib, do something. Paul, Paul. don't forget don't the spice ship. We are doing military training. May I show you the characteristics of my troop? Glad to have some Chris knives. My men will appreciate it.
As Paul Atreides failed to respond to my spice demands, my s I understand that you're worried about your father. He will return. But the Fremen I see often complain about worm attacks. The worms arrive suddenly and attack the harvesters. Paul, you have to get some ornies. It has come to my attention that in the villages there are smugglers who trade equipment and other items for spice. Fremen live in sieges. The villages were made by immigrants. Fremen don't usually go to villages. We don't even know their locations very well. I've never been to a village. I remember a tale about the village in the fish's mouth. It looks like a village, there on the left. Best place on Dune to buy all kinds of equipment. You name it, I have it. I have a spice harvester for trade. Here is my price for it. Oh, a spice harvester of the highest quality. At this price, I'm losing money. Well, let me see if I have something for you. I have an orny for trade. Here is my price for it. You've got a deal. It's a pleasure to do business with you. We must tell a Fremen troop to come pick up the equipment we bought here. We're doing spice mining. Okay. I'm tired of all these travels with you, Paul. I want to go back to my place, Tuano Timon. The next demand from the Emperor will be in four days. Uh, one moment. I have received some kind of bill. Let me find it. Yes, here it is. It's a bill from a smuggler. Payment has to be made in spice. Look at this bill. Do you want me to send that much spice to this smuggler? Okay, that'll be done. You always want to chat, don't you? Thank you, Paul, for bringing me here. No doubt now, your eyes will be blue. I've been told about another village in the east, south of Tuono Tuek. something to tell you. I'd like you to meet somebody. I think it's important for you. 
I want us to go to Oxtine Tavern, west of the village we found. I've indicated it on your map. Anyway, you surely must be able to attack some remote Harkonnen fortresses by now. Still be very careful. Select destination on the map. about you, Paul Atreides. You respect our people. We've waited for a man like you for a long time. I was born here and love this planet. Have you seen the desert at night? It's so beautiful. These deserted sieges, they always make me sad. I was born here and love follow you. Okay. But I don't want to travel far from this place. I was born here and love this planet. Have you seen the desert at night? It's so beautiful. Ah, the desert. You, um... Uh, may I call you Paul? Oh, Paul, this moment is unique, being here next to you with all these worlds above us. I want to be close to you. It's so good to be near you. I... I think I've fallen in love with you. I want to be with you every day. This is so... With Chani's help, you will soon be a real Fremen Wadib. A Fremen leader. I've never been in love before, Paul. You're quite a remarkable man. Welcome, Wadid. I see Shani is with you. I remember when she was just a baby. Oh, how I would like you to be here at a time like this. Oh, Paul. How I would like you to be here at a time like this. Paul, I was sure you were coming. It's terrible. The Duke is dead. He was killed by the Harkonnens. Thufir will give you all the details. It's terrible. Paul, I tell you these Harkonnens are beasts. They're completely without mercy. As far as I know, the Duke and his guard didn't have much chance to fight. The transportation hornets were spotted by the Harkonnen troops and shot down. Well, I can see you found another Fremen girl. She's nice looking for. If only I... I'm sure she'll help you to gain a better knowledge of the Fremen. Well, I'm not sure. Ask Stilgar. and men sometimes, but as incredible as it may sound to you, Fremen use worms to travel in the desert. We ride them. 
guess you should be able to now ride a worm, Paul. Let's go out into the desert. Paul, you have now perfected the riding of the worm. You now know almost everything about the Fremen. Why don't you tell Thurfir Howard about the worm? like this one, Paul. It's the old Fremen dream, vegetation on Arrakis. There is very slight humidity in the air on Arrakis. We use a wind trap to extract it, and it comes down and gathers here. We also have little quantities of the very special water of life. It is used by our few reverent mothers. The water of life extends consciousness, but only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, Wadi? You are wise. Maybe someday you will be ready to drink the water of life. Paul, water of life is dangerous. Many men have tried it died. These Fremen do have surprises. Riding worms seems incredible. This could be the perfect way to go to the Harkonnen fortresses. That's an advantage for sure, but I've been thinking. We still lack something. Something that would turn the balance. Something that the Harkonnens can't imagine, even in their most pessimistic plans. Don't ask me what. I don't know. Maybe you could find it. My feeling is that the answer is here, in this very palace. You're doing a great job, Paul. Hmm. I wish Leto was here. He would be so proud of you. Oh, Paul. 
call. How I can feel this power in you. Could he be the one? We both will try to examine the few rooms we can access. Go ahead. I'm following you. I'm staying here. this power in you. Could he be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. You are now able to contact Fremen in a wider range. I've just found a hidden door here on the right. Oh my! I can't find words. A greenhouse here on Dune. Look at all that water. Water on Dune. Can you imagine that? Chani likes that kind of place. But it looks like a big waste of water to me. Wait, Paul. I want to stay here. I'm staying here. Cozy. Yes, Paul. I want to fuck. <sighs> this is so beautiful. Even my father doesn't. Did I tell you about my father? I'm the daughter of Liet Kynes, the planetologist. I'd like you to meet him. I understand now. That's what Stilger had in mind when he introduced you to me. I under- Anyway, let's go. I'll show you the way. First, we go to Oxton Tabor. This is the place where we met, Paul. Remember? Now we must go westwards. The siege where my father lives is beyond the rocky line. Select destination on map. 